Hey y'all, hey! It's your girl, Ana Bea, BKA Baruka Honey, and I'm back at it again with another video. So, um, as you can see, I got the looks on or whatever, but let me just tell y'all, investing in a pair of sunglasses has been quite the lifesaver for me for like the past week because I've been putting off getting my lashes done for about a week and a half i've been wearing strip lashes and i'm over strip lashes i don't want to do the strip lash thing no more extensions is way is that okay let's work i ain't gotta put no lashes on every day and it's just like you wake up cute so i've been wearing these sunglasses for about a week probably a week and a half the whole time since i've been having my lashes off i have been like miss incognito like all the time is so crazy but i am um at my lash appointment i actually found this new girl this is my third lash tech y'all night like, nothing is wrong with the first two girls it's just that um the second girl that i started going to she's always booked and i i understand why like she's really good so um i didn't want to wait a week another week to get my lashes done so i'm just like let me book with this other girl because look her pictures on instagram were bomb.com so i'm like let me go ahead and try her out so um she lives on the north side i live downtown so it's like about 30 something minute drive but i mean based on her pictures the drive is very well worth it so um i'm gonna go ahead and call her let her know i'm here and then i will let you guys know what i look like afterwards y'all so let me tell y'all how fucking pissed the fuck off i am and how i'll never be coming back to this bitch ever again no i'm not calling her a bitch i'm in like the place because i'm like mad as hell so usually whenever i get my lashes done they charge a deposit you know that's that's normal but the deposit goes towards the total it goes towards the fucking total so i come over here i don't pay my 20 dollar deposit or whatever i don't know where the fuck i am i'm so mad i'm so freaking irritated All right, y'all, so I'm in the car now, so I can like sit down and talk. I'm so frustrated. I'm so mad because, okay. I don't even know where to start. So I sent her $20 yesterday. And usually whenever you send money, it goes towards the payment, like, so you just pay the balance when you get to where you're going. Every time I've gotten my lashes done, that's how it goes. Like, that's how it goes. Or, or if it does not go towards the payment, they would state that in the description. It was saying, this is just to secure your spot. This does not go in big bold letters. This does not go towards total payment nowhere did it state that nowhere did it say it does not go towards your payment or anything like that so i sent her a text message um i don't think i was being rude but she's probably gonna send something back like to snap back i'm pretty sure because usually that's how it goes they unfucking professional so i just said I, I honestly wish i wouldn't have gave you the extra 20 because it literally states nowhere that it doesn't go towards the total payment never had i have i heard of anything like this before that's very unprofessional because that was not my fault that was your fault so let me know if i was being disrespectful i was trying not to be you know disrespectful or anything like that just trying to let her know like i feel played now like i felt played before but I was just like, okay, you know how people are about daily business and stuff like that. Like, let me just go ahead and pay the girl. I don't need her trying to, you know, come after me with no knife or nothing like that. Because she didn't get her little $20. So, yeah, I feel played. 
and I don't know how I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day because she played me. Like, okay, I asked her how long she's been doing lashes. She said a few months. I'm like, okay. I, I could have swore I read in her uh, thing that she's been doing it for like two years, but I could be wrong. She said a few months, I'm like, okay. So $72, I'm like, damn, that's that's a little more than um my lady who usually did my lashes the last time. And she's been doing lashes for a little minute. So I'm like, all right, $72 or whatever. All right, I'll do it. But then when she's telling me this don't go towards the total, I'm like, hold the fuck up. You just sat here and told me that you only been doing lashes a few months and you trying to charge me a hundred dollars and don't fucking tell me that you charged me a hundred dollars girl i'm mad so i ain't never going back and i'm gonna link it down below and let y'all know who the hell it is uh if y'all gonna go there just know that your deposit does not go towards the actual total and she won't tell you that so i'm gonna tell you i'll link it down below um I would never, ever, ever go to her again because she's very fucking unprofessional. That was fucked up. I'm pissed. But I guess I will carry on throughout my day because it was just $20. But, um, yeah, never, ever, ever going to her again. I will stick with my lash, my other lash lady. Because why the fuck would I pay you $100 for some lashes and you only been doing lashes a few months? Now, this this is no shade to the people who just started and need taxing but if you're gonna tax let a bitch know you could have that's supposed to be in your bio first off that's supposed to be in the description and it ain't that was your fault not mine it would be nice if you send me my 20 dollars back because girl i could buy some crab legs with that or something but if you don't want to send it back whatever um blah 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 i'm gonna just leave you stuff down below let people know how freaking unprofessional you are because you are very unprofessional and i'm gonna just go on by my day and that's it i knew y'all thought i was done ranting but i'm not so let me tell y'all how the whole experience went right so whenever i got there i text her at my appointment was at eight so i texted her at like 7 55 and i was like hey i'm ready i'm outside like whenever you ready and she said okay and literally, 8.15 comes. 8.15! And I still haven't heard anything, so I just text again. I'm like, are you ready? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And I'm just like, well, what the fuck? Like, now, in the bio, it says if you're 10 minutes late, that's an extra $5. If you're 15 minutes late, that's the extra ten dollars or something crazy like that so i'm just like so you really got me sitting outside in my car for 15 minutes ain't saying nothing why why you ain't charge yourself sis you should have charged yourself you need to live up to the same damn standard that you want your customers to live up to that was red flag number one and then like, um, I noticed that, like, the outside corners aren't all the way filled in, which I'm not even tripping about that. Like, that's whatever. But it's the tape, y'all. Now, if you watch any of my, um, plastic surgery videos, you will know I tell everybody, use Next Care tape because it don't, like, kill your freaking skin off. When I tell y'all... She had that tape going down my eye like this. When she was pulling the tape off of my eye, it felt like my fucking eye skin was coming off. And my eyes started crying. I'm like, damn, girl. I was so irritated at that point because I'm just like, damn, you need to get some better tape. I even told her, I'm like, you should try the next hair tape because uh, this tape that you have is pulling my damn eye skin. And eye skin is very sensitive but um i think that was all my only red flags but i mean i'm sitting here telling this girl and i even showed her her page i'm like it doesn't say that it doesn't go towards services like i've never ever heard of anything like this before and she still's like well it's still 20 dollars i'm like oh this girl's 
so unprofessional. I ain't never coming back here again. I've never been so just irritated in my life. Okay. I've never been so irritated in my life, y'all. But I think that's all I wanted to say. But yeah. I think that's that's all I wanted to say about that experience. I will carry on because it is only twenty dollars, but it's different when you're paying for something versus when you're getting played about it. I don't like that, so that's why I'm like really mad. It's really all my fault because I should have been loyal to my lash lady, but no, no, you want to go try out other folks and. My mom's calling. You want to go try out other folks and stuff like that. Now you got played. It's my fault that I got played because I wasn't loyal. But girl, I'm coming back to you because look, these chicks out here is not doing me right. Hey y'all. So I didn't make it back home and I'm not bitter anymore. So I'm about to make me a little seafood spread, y'all. Well, it's not really seafood. It's uh, just crab legs. But um... Yeah, I've been spending so much money on crab legs and crawfish lately. I'm just like, forget this. So, I found this at Walmart. It's supposed to be like freshly caught. It's supposed to be fresh, not frozen. And um, I'm going to boil that. But um, I'm going to leave the recipe for the things that I'm going to be using. Because um, I'm copying somebody else's recipe. But... I'm making my potatoes and corn right now. I just have some, um, what did I put it? I don't know where I put it, but it's some, um, some crawfish boil. This one right here. The crab and shrimp boil. I'm just boiling in it. And I'm probably gonna start seasoning soon because the seasoning just messes with my allergies, right? So, um, I have some beer in here and she used Bud Light but I just bought Keystone Light because it's kind of like almost the same thing uh yeah so she said that when you boil your crab legs in beer it makes the crab legs really sweet like that really sweet taste that we like so um I will leave the videos for those two recipes because I'm making the garlic butter sauce as well. I'm actually like in the middle of watching the garlic butter sauce recipe right quick. So I guess like after I'm finished boiling everything, I'm gonna let you guys know, you know, what it's, what it's doing. Y'all look at this sauce I created, okay. So I tried to follow it verbatim, but a few of the, um ingredients i didn't have so i had to substitute it but this shit tastes so fucking good excuse my stove because um i had a little accident or whatever water was bouncing everywhere all over the stove but i got my taters my corn almost done and this right here uh i let it go in the beer for 12 minutes i never lifted the lid yet she made it very clear do not lift that lid until it's done but I'm so freaking excited to try it, y'all. Swear. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the corn out because nobody likes overdone corn. The potatoes are pretty soft. See, look at it, look at it, look at it. The potatoes are pretty soft, but I want them to be like soft, soft. You know what I'm saying? So I guess this corn is just, okay. So I guess I'll like let them go for maybe another five minutes to see like the fork is going through it. So I think I'll just let it go for like another five minutes. Then I'll take them out and then we'll see what it's given. All right, so in my honest opinion, these potatoes are done. Y'all, I'm greedy AF, but I'm not gonna eat all these potatoes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So now we can go ahead and finally pop the lid. They look so good. I hope they taste good. Like, please taste good. She said, like, boiling it in the beer 
is gonna make it taste sweeter. Gonna make it sweet. We gonna see, we gonna see. All right, I don't know what my little tone's at. So I'm, yeah. It tastes damn good, but we about to see what this inside giving. All right, y'all. So I would try to put this sauce on there with my one hand. She looking real good. I'll splash that on there. Oh, oh, big daddy. You know what the hell I forgot? Eggs. So I think I'm gonna like cover this up and boil me some eggs cause I need eggs. All right, y'all, this what she giving, this what she working with. I mean, looks freaking delicioso, but we're about to do the taste test. Okay. Um, I don't even know where to start. So I guess I'm gonna just start with this one right here. I hope it come out good. I hope it don't come out all wrong chance stuff. Okay. She's sliding out. She's sliding out. Ooh, she getting stuck. Okay. We got a crab leg. Let me just taste it without the sauce. Okay, bitch. She is sweet. So I'm guessing the um the beard did do this thing. This is what it look like with the sauce. Mmm. Oh, baby. Mmm. I probably could have added a little more seasoning. Because this recipe did call for a little bit of sugar. But sugar... And the garlic and onion kind of like rumble together and create something so beautiful. Let's get a tighter. Okay. She's greased up. Mmm. Y'all, I'm so happy. Because I have been spending so much money on seafood. So if I can do this at home and spend half the money, then I'm for that. I'm all for it. Dug in my re box. Okay. Ooh, we parked it close to this car. Ah! Why low coming out of here? I'm hanging out with my girl Jamie today. Yes. Y'all, I've been on Jamie for freaking ever. I swear. Like, she was my first friend since I moved to Houston. She sure was. She was my first friend. The first person she, she met was she right <laughs> yeah but i'm in h town now yeah, we're in but we're at razu's it's like a little it's supposed to be cajun you know yeah and it's like out by the water y'all i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like one more round your girl gonna be so freaking flat with one more round. But it was a change of plans. We're coming to, I don't even know the name of this place. Plaza something, I don't know. But it's a Hispanic place, it's a Mexican restaurant. You know I love the guac and the enchiladas. So, yes. Sophie. We just got our food. Of course, I order enchiladas like every time. We have the spinach enchiladas. I don't know what kind of rice this is, but refried beans. And yeah, I'm about to grub. Hey, y'all. 
Hey y'all. Ooh. I'm glad I'm not a dude. I don't think I would be a cute dude, y'all. For real. I don't think I would be a cute dude. But I am in the gym in my apartment complex. You can see the pool from here, even though you know it's not working right now. But I really, really, really want to lose 20, 30 pounds. And after we went to this Hispanic, this I keep calling it a Hispanic restaurant. This Mexican restaurant last night, I've just been like feeling some type of way. I'm just like, sis, why did you order two enchiladas? You could have got one because the second one was just overkill. And I'm just like, I really need to get a hold of myself. Like my discipline because I eat entirely too much and I'm not afraid to say it. Um, I don't work out. I'm kind of a homebody. I don't really get out a ton. I don't get out to do anything. I'm mostly in the house. So I'm just like, I've been, we've been living here for like six months and I've never been to the gym. So I came to the gym. I'm probably just gonna do a little walking. You already know I can't I can, but I don't want to do more. And I'm also gonna use the dumbbells to do like arm exercises. Because as you can see, like I don't have enough to get like arm lift or anything like that. And I really don't want to get arm lipo because they say that shit hurt like hell. So I just wanna like tone it up a little bit and I think I can do it. What y'all think? It's not enough, but I just want to like tone up because I am going to get surgery again and I'm going to do boobs, more lipo. So it's like my upper body is probably going to be hella snatched and I want, I don't want my arms to not match my body. So I'm like, okay, I'll do this right now. Um, I really want to lose 20, 30 pounds. So my BMI could be at like a 31 and I want to lose weight in my face because I did have chin lipo. But it didn't take, it's probably because it's my fault. Because I didn't take care of it like I was supposed to. And I gained weight back. So it's like, it just came right back. <laughs> so um, I noticed whenever I lose weight, I lose weight in my face first. And if I gain weight, I gain weight in my face first. And if I lose 20, 30 pounds, y'all, my face will be snatched open. Can't wait, can't wait. Because I really don't have a freaking jawline. I don't know, but we'll see. This is like day one of my journey. I took a before picture, but I was like kind of naked. So I don't think I'm gonna like insert it. If I do, I'm gonna try to cover up something. But um, yeah, day one. Day one, you guys. And I weigh like 235 right now. When I had surgery, I was like 230. But I'm like two. 35 right now. I want to really want to get out of the um 200s. So yeah, y'all gonna watch me shrink. I'm really gonna stick with it this time. I'm gonna try to stick with it this time, y'all. But I've been talking for like four minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this clip. So I just came back from the gym and I took my shower and I put my wig on like this. I'm gonna see if babe goes to say something. Let's see. Well, I guess I'm about to go to my lash. I mean my wax appointment in a minute. So what time are you gonna be ready to leave? Give me a kiss. What you doing? Hmm? What you doing? Good. You working? What kind of work you doing right now? Hmm? Work. You working or you watching TV or playing around? Work. I just I'm not
Huh? Oh, you think I'm messing around? Cause you calling 800 numbers and shit. <laughs> Got to. Oh. What? Oh. What? What happened? You can get through it. Said I'm working on my phone number, but it just said it's not there. So sweet. Man. What's up? Mm -hmm. What time is it? Oh, I, I need to leave now. Yeah, you checking around, man. Huh? Oh, you don't want you messing around. That's two o'clock. That's two hours. You got to go to Waxon. You got to go to the mall. To Burlington. Get me a shirt. Can you do that? Do you want to do that? What are we doing? Yeah. I thought you was going to say something about my, uh, my wig. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> You don't see what's wrong with it? It's like fucking on my brows. <laughs> you can't tell a bad wig? No, there's so many of them. Pull it down. You can't tell a bad wig. My wig is supposed to be way back here, giving me a little forehead at least. Hello. So I'm walking up to my lash appointments. I am at the Relax and Wax Authentic Brazilian Wax on Shepherd. I think it's on Shepherd. They offer sugar waxing here. I actually got a sugar wax from here like a few days before I left to go to the Dominican. But I don't know if I'm going to get sugar again today. I might just like get regular. I don't know. We'll see. Smells amazing here as always. It's like a little house, but it's very clean, very awesome, and it smells so good. All right, y'all. I'm just leaving for my wax, and let me tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all one thing. Um, I'm not going back to European wax, like. I don't know why I started going to them instead of the place that I usually go. Well, the place that I went the first time I got a wax. Um, relax and wax. Because they don't hurt me as bad at relax and wax. Any cheaper, girl. $35. Are you kidding? It's hot as hell up in here. But $35 for a wax. And it's supposed to be like real authentic Brazilian waxing. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be going here. And it's a little bit closer to my house. So, yeah. But I really need to start working on my skin. Like, that's one of my... I'm not going to say it's an insecurity of mine. But it kind of is like an insecurity of mine. It's like... My skin is always super, super, super duper oily as hell. It don't matter what I do. I do exfoliating. I do moisturizing i do face masks like for hydration nothing really helps so i don't know what i can do besides like go to a dermatologist i'll start getting like some kind of skin treatments but yeah that's what i'm gonna have to do because i literally just wash my face and my face is oily as hell already i don't get it <sighs> but yeah if you guys have this problem Please let me know in the comments because I would love to know what can I do about my oily ass skin because I don't like that it's it's upset me and my home girl I don't like that hey y'all day night day night day night was well, day day actually it's like what two o'clock in the afternoon right now we're at Olive Garden I, this is like my second time being here and it both times was with him but um yeah we're just chilling at olive garden y'all we went have the most amazing walk at memorial park this morning it was awesome but um he won't be able to come with me all the time because he works during the week so 
if any of you guys are watching this that live in the Houston area, hit your girl up because I do need a walking partner. And um, I live downtown, so any like walking trail in the surrounding area, if you want to hit it up with me, let me know. I am open. Y'all, I got this drink. I forgot what it's called. But I think it's called Italian Margarita. It comes with this Amaretto shot. And yeah, it's looking pretty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey y'all. Just getting back from my little walk. Like I said in the last clip, you guys, if anybody is in the Houston area that wouldn't mind meeting me at um, Memorial Park, let me know. Because I've been trying to go like every single day. I'm just getting back. I'm just getting back. Hold up. Okay. I'm just getting back. Everything is good, good, good. And I think I just want to end the vlog here because I don't know how long this damn vlog going to be. Because y'all know I was doing a lot of ranting in the beginning of the vlog. And... To finish the rant off, y'all, I made a post in the um, Houston Hair and Braids or something like that group. It was in the Houston Hair group, basically. And um, I posted the girl's Instagram and I post, you know, what happened to me. And don't you know, like, about three other girls came forward and say she did the same thing to them. Or... uh. She made them pay like a deposit, <clears throat> which is not even a deposit, it's the, the booking fee. And um, she had them waiting outside in their car for like 30 minutes. And one girl, I'm gonna post receipts, y'all. I'm gonna post some receipts, but um, yeah, she had said that she left the outside, wasn't answering her phone and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not saying this to be like all hateful and stuff like that because I would not want anybody to do that to my business, but baby girl, you can't be out here scamming people and thinking nobody gonna say nothing because, you know, what I've experienced was very uncalled for. And if I was a different type of person, it wouldn't have ended very well. So, yeah, I'm just letting y'all know what happened. And I will put receipts like right here. But yeah, y'all, I'm just getting back from my walk and um, I've been feeling really good. Like, although I have not been eating the best, I'm going to start eating so much better. I always say that, but I mean, it's trial and error. Like, I'm not beating myself up at all. As long as you know, I continue doing my exercises, even if I was to fall off of that, which hopefully I don't, I'm still not going to beat myself up because... I'm just not like I feel like I look pretty good already I just want to work on some things like you know nothing wrong with that always trying to improve always trying to be better always trying to become a better person and just work on myself because eventually I want to be someone that people can look to and look up to so what better way than to start within myself and without on the outside too but yeah um damn i wanted to say something else it's like always whenever i'm trying to end the video i can't remember what i want to say can't remember you guys but babe told me that i should start giving relationship advice on my youtube and i'm just like i don't think i'm qualified to give anybody relationship advice because you know, I have a great relationship right now. And, you know, I guess it's because I required things from him that his other girls didn't require. And, you know, he could have been with women who had way more than me. You know, careers, big houses, cars, and stuff like that. But he chose me. And he's just like, it's something about you that made me cho choose you. It's because that, you know you 
wasn't trying to win me. I was trying to win you. The other women were trying to win him because they wanted a man so bad. Me, I'm just like, look, I do want a man. And I do need a man, just like every woman, but I'm not tolerating the BS. So I think that's what it was. And a lot of women, they tolerate a lot of stuff. And I think that's why he's telling me you should give relationship advice to these women because it's hard out here for the ladies. It's very hard out here for the ladies. But I don't know, y'all. I told him me and him could do a mukbang together because we tend to get in these really deep conversations like debates and stuff like that going back and forth back and forth so you could get like a lot of insight i told him maybe we could do a mukbang together i think that would be better than me just sitting out trying to give you all some advice because like i'm not an expert so i don't want to like get in that pool you know i just don't want to do that i just don't think it's something that would be good for me right now yeah but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because I just ate breakfast. I'm about to go get ready because we're about to go do some stuff. I'm about to get in these streets. All right, you guys. Bye.